Hey guys, it's Jack. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And last time, somewhat against our will, we made our way to the Forest Haven and met the great Deku Tree, who told us about one of these little Korok fellows named Makar, who fell into the Forbidden Woods, and we need to rescue him. To do that, we need to climb to the top of the great Deku Tree and collect a leaf. And I'm sure that will make sense. But before we do that, I wanted to show this off. Remember in the last episode, I was trying to collect one of these green fireflies and I accidentally filled my bottle with forest water and now I can't use it for another 20 minutes? This is the firefly that you actually want to trap in a bottle before you leave. So, probably after we finish this dungeon, I'm going to snag one of those because it will be very important and we don't want to have to come back if we don't have to. But first things first. Hello sir. As soon as you jump into a Baba Bud, use Tilt L to align the direction you wish to jump in. Once you're in the air, you can use L to adjust the length of your jump. Okay. I actually did talk to him between episodes. He, that he tells you that this is a Baba Bud and that it spits you out. I want to go this way and higher up and further down and break my legs. Right. How many tries is this going to take? Because this didn't go too well in practice and it does not look like it's going to go very well live either. And why did I turn that way? I wish, I wish there was an arrow. I feel like there's an easier way to do this. And that's not it. Well, that kind of worked if my camera had cooperated. Okay, this is fun. Why? Okay, so I'm not quite getting the trick of this, obviously. And it's really difficult because it does not give you a good indication of which way Link is facing. What if I just do it normally? Hang on, let's do an experiment. Okay. Full power. Full power! Why did that not work? Concentration mode has been activated. That should do it. There we go. Okay, I need to land on the tree itself. And you do take falling damage, so you cannot fill at this too much. Or Link will die. And considering I burned up my fairy to get this bottle full of useless water, I do not want to die! Alright, I kind of feel like I'm getting the hang of this now. If this control stick cooperates, it makes it a lot easier. And you can fall back into the same Baba Bud. Alright, let's go for the tree this time. Can you heal me? <laughs> wow, you're quite good at that, Mr. Knight. Just keep doing that until you get all the way up to the top. If you shoot out facing the wrong direction, don't panic. If you don't tilt L in any direction, you'll land safely back in the Baba Bud. Okay. Where is the next one? How do I get to the next one? I feel like that leaf is- oh, there we go. I feel like that leaf is right above me. I hear a magical item anyway. And this is where you want to be very careful and align very well. And probably do not want to tilt L at all until you're sure you're lined up. 
because I'm pretty sure if I fell from this height, I would die. All right, I'm lined up. I do feel like you should have an arrow or a pointer indicator of some type. Yep, yeah, we were right below the leaf. Okay, just need to get in this baba bud, and then we're pretty much good. There we go. That wasn't too bad. You got the Deku leaf. Set it to and use it with blah blah blah. Plant your feet on the ground and use it to blow blasts of air at objects and enemies. You can also jump in the air and use your magic power to drift on the currents of the wind. Swordsman, over here! Where the arrow is? Please, you must fly from over there to here using your Deku Leaf. Okay, so let's see if I've got the hang of this. Spoilers, I probably don't. Alright. Jump! And fly. There we go. Drop a little bit. Or don't. There we go. Like that. Very good, Mr. Swordsman. You've already mastered using the Deku Leaf. But since you're so much heavier than we are, you can't fly very far, can you? How unfortunate. Well, anyway, this is the exit that leads to the Forbidden Woods, where our brother Makar is being held. Please take care of Makar. Makar, Makar. Makar, Makar. Cut the grass. Replenish your magic. There is plenty of magic to go around. But in this case, they don't fool around too much before directing you to the next dungeon. It's like, oh, hey, here, you're here. Oh, crap. Something bad happened. You need to go solve it. Here's an item. Get busy. I mean, come on. Congratulations, swordsman. It appears you've finally gotten the Deku Leaf. Yeah, it kind of took a while, in my opinion, too. That eerie looking island over there is home to the Forbidden Woods. Makar is trapped somewhere within there. You'll have to float over there to the entrance from here using your Deku Leaf. But when you're flying with the Deku Leaf, you're at the mercy of the wind. If the wind can't carry you there, you'll fall back into the sea before you land. If only the wind were blowing in the right direction to carry you there. Well... I can make it. Up, left, right. I kind of want to go... I think southwest? Yeah. Alright. So now we jump and fly. And we can actually go quite fast doing this. With the wind behind you, you can go a long, long way on one charge of magic. And they are, once again, nice enough to replenish your magic for you, because you're going to need it. Nice job, Swordsman. It looks like you've already mastered using your Deku Leaf. You're a quick study. Yeah, life and death situations will do that. The first thing you should do is cut the grass around here to replenish your magic power. Okay, did that. The entrance to the Forbidden Woods is on a much higher level than the entrance to our forest haven. In order to give up, get up to such a high place, you'll have, have to catch the swirling updraft. Can you see the updraft, Swordsman? The updrafts around here move swiftly. You'll have to time your jump just right so that the wind will fill your Deku Leaf and carry you into the updraft, giving you the lift you need. Once you're floating on high, just let the wind take you to the entrance to the woods. Alright, so first things first, we need to change the direction to the woods. Up, left, right. And I believe that means we need to go northwest now. And I've been reading so much, my mouth is a little dry, so I apologize if that's being picked up by the mic. It's not supposed to. Alright. Get into the Cyclone Link. Into the Cyclone Link. Get in. Miss it completely, Link. Good job. You're about to die. Alright, well, goodbye, everybody. Fortunately, once you're at the halfway mark, 
this is where it starts you. And the wind should still be blowing in the proper direction. Alright, let's try this. Let's get a little bit more distance. There we go. Now we'll sail straight for the entrance. No, we will fail because I wasn't paying attention to my magic. <laughs> and I realized that about one second before I fell into the ocean. Go me. Let's try this again. <sighs> okay. I'm impatient. I'm doing it wrong. I just need to relax, calm down, and solve the puzzle the way it's meant to be. I just don't want to wait for it to go a full cycle around. Feels like that takes forever. So how you guys doing? Did you do anything interesting today? Uh, when is this episode going up? Um, Thursday? Well, if it's Thursday, then yesterday I went to the water park and I had a good time. And I don't know if you guys went to a water park and had a good time, but I got hit in the face and died. And that was amazing. That was the best time I ever had in my entire life. I want it to happen again. But yeah, um... It's June, and the water park basically opened last week. Well, the water part of the water park. It's a, it also has an amusement park attached to it, so... What I like to do is, at least once a year... I'll go to the water park, I'll go super early in the morning, and I'll go on a weekday. And I did not get enough height. And I'm just going to die now. Uh, and I found that if you go really early in the morning, and you go on a weekday, nobody goes to the water part of the water park. So you basically have the entire s s set of slides and everything all to yourself. And, um, I'll spend all morning at the water park, and by the time I'm bored at the water park, everyone else is coming from the amusement park because they want to cool off. And that means I can just go to the amusement park and enjoy those rides with basically no line. And this system has worked so well for me. Basically, every time I've gone there. Alright, this time I skirted you guys properly. So yeah, I was super excited. I went, I had a good time. I splashed around. I'm going to get so much Pokemon Go candy because uh, it's a, it's um, Adventure Week and you get four times the candy for walking your Pokemon. So it's the best for leveling up a Magikarp or, you know, a rare Pokemon that you may not see that often but is really good. Like a Gibble or a uh, Kranidos. Alright. Ooh, I want that to go away. So, the main puzzle is to take these nuts and fail at throwing them. Take the nut, throw it at the flower. This is how you unlock doors. You don't need a key. Most of this dungeon is just puzzles on how to get the nut to the flower. So, you know, always be nothing, nut hard, yeet yeet. I, I don't know what the kids these days say. And I am old as hell, considering I just said I don't know what the kids these days say. And yes, I am the whitest person you know. You got the dungeon map. You can view it by tapping the map screen on the blah blah blah. Yay. How big is this place? Um, not huge. Pretty centralized, really. Yay, got it before it faded away. Nuts will always grow back, so don't worry about wasting nuts. Just FYI. Excuse me. Oh, good. I'm guessing this is possibly a gliding puzzle. What have we got going on here? 
Do I want to go to the bottom or do I want to go to the top? Choices, choices. I don't see any nuts down there, so what is this going to do for me? I want to avoid the vines. I don't have much magic power. Link. Oh my god. You don't deserve that. Okay, which way am I facing? Okay. Oh! The uh, Baba Buds are nice enough to replenish your magic for you. Every time you enter them. That's useful. I forgot about that. Okay, I see the way out and I see a bomb. And I'm guessing the bomb might be my solution, but let's take out these shoes first. And if I were smart, I would have my grapple hook on standby so I could get chew jelly. So let's do that. Because you are going to need quite a bit of chew jelly, and this bottle is useless to me. Give me your chew jelly. The good thing about the spoils balls over there is that they will not disappear. They will hold the items until you break them. So you can leave them alone for a while until you take care of all the enemies. And you can break them open and get the goodies at your leisure, which is, holy crap, a lot of chew jelly. And magic. And bombs. How do you feel about bombs, plant? What if I hit you with it? What if I got even close? I keep bouncing it off that little roof. That little arch. The sad part is I saw that coming. <laughs> Alright, what's down here? Let's take care of what's down here then. More of you guys. More Deku Baba Plant wannabe. No, you're a Baba Bud. Deku Baba Plant wannabes and. Well, green shoes. should take care of all of you and by the way if you cut these vines they will grow back you need to take care of the flower at the top because you cannot keep up with the speed of the vines growth and my cat just started making a lot of noise I'm kind of not pleased about it I hope it's not being picked up on recording my cats have been really active today I'm wondering if it's because they missed me because I was gone all day yesterday that could be the case. Are you going to disappear before I get to you? Yes, you are. Alright, let's see here. I have a feeling I am not going to get real far in this puzzle, or in this dungeon today. For one thing, I actually don't remember the Forbidden Woods as much as I remember the, uh... Dragon Roost Cavern. And let's be honest, I'm not saying like I remember Dragon Roost Cavern very well, but somehow I don't remember much of this at all. So this is going to be really interesting, especially if I get hit and fall down like I did. Hooray for me. Just what everybody in the world knew I was good at. Platforming puzzles. Everybody knew I was good at these. That's what everybody... Man, if you guys ever expect me to do something like... I know it's not as popular as it used to be, but... There is no way I will ever do I want to be the guy or anything like that. Holy crap. 
That's just a recipe for absolute rage. It will never happen. I'm sorry. I don't even really want to do Super Mario Maker levels, even though Super Mario Maker 2 is coming out. Just because I know that all of the levels in the first Super Mario Maker fell into basically three categories. You had actual Mario levels where people wanted to try. You had levels that were basically Mario winning by doing absolutely nothing. And then you had um, Kaizu Mario wannabe levels. And there weren't enough of the... By the way, wind turns those. There weren't enough of the actual effort put into real Mario levels, you know, the way it was intended, to make that game worth it for me because you had to hunt for those gems through literally piles of, well, crap. I mean, I don't want to say that, but to me, yes, it would be piles of crap because I don't want to play Kazu Mario. Oh, uh, I think you can get, yes, you can get golden feathers from these two. And then you want to stun them with your Diku Leaf before you attack them. Definitely target these guys to get golden feathers. The sooner you get 20 golden feathers, the sooner you get that heart piece. It is much more important to me right now than it is to get those Baba Seeds. But yeah, uh, I don't want to play Kaiser Mario. I want to see the really cool levels that people can come up with given developer tools for Super Mario Maker. I don't want to... I don't want to, like, run into... You know... Wave upon wave of Kaizu Mario. That's not fun to me. Alright, this guy turned into a Baba Bud. So that's why, you know, I'm not going to play Super Mario Maker. I didn't play it for, what did it come out for? The Wii U first and then the 3DS. Played it for neither one of those. And I will not play it for the Switch. I know they tried to clamp down on it somewhat by making it so that you were required to complete your level before you could upload it. It turns out that some people are just that sadistic. <laughs> They will make an impossible level that all, and spend, you know, God, how many days doing pixel perfect jumps in order to be able to upload it just to watch other people rage. I just don't get the joy in making and building a level, spending all that time and energy to make a level do all the calculations required and uh, you're doing it just to see people rage for you know how long crap oh well it worked out you know they're going to rage and they will either upvote it or downvote it but chances are really good your level is not going to last that long. It's going to be entirely forgettable. What are these things? And um, people are just going to move on to the next level. And you spent hours and hours and hours, unless it was a really famous level. Yeah, damn it. Making one person rage. Congratulations. What are you doing with your life? You know, I really hate to judge what makes people happy. Because... Some people could ask the same thing about me. Why do I do this game? Why does this make me happy? But I'm not doing it so that... Wow, that was a pop. I'm not doing it so that people rage. Oops. Wrong button. I want people to be genuinely entertained. Whether they are or not, you know, that's what I want in my life. 
I want people to come to this channel, either enjoy the game, enjoy the commentary, or both, and have a good time. And if you're not here for the game, and you're not here for the commentary, why are you here? Go watch something else. You know, I'm not going to lose any sleep if you don't want to watch someone play Wind Waker or you don't like my commentary. I want to entertain the people who want to be entertained. And if some people aren't entertained by what I do here, it happens. I'm not going to entertain everybody. I know that for a fact. And I'm not going to lose sleep over it. At one point, I might have, to be perfectly honest. I might... Way back years ago, I might have been really upset if... I... I don't know. If just someone didn't enjoy work that I put so much time and effort into. But before you can go out on the internet, you kind of have to get over that. You have to be ready to put yourself out there for criticism. And if you're not ready for criticism, you shouldn't go on the internet because if there's anything I've learned, it's that the internet loves criticism. Absolutely. And this is probably poison water. All right, I do want to solve this puzzle because we got kind of a late start. So I want to solve, at least to this dungeon, I want to solve this puzzle before we call it a night or an episode. For me, it'll be a night. And this will probably be my last recording as part of this session. Hmm. Oh, okay. Man, they really don't make those obvious to me for some reason. And that's the wrong button. Now, one thing I will say is arguing on the internet is entirely pointless. If you're going to Reddit, oh man, I can, I can, I can already hear one of my friends laughing at me. If you're going to Reddit and you're just going there to argue, it's kind of a waste of time. Yep. Debating is fine, but just going there to argue and troll people? Again, what's the point? All right, what do I do with this nut? I get what I'm doing with that platform. Do I need to jump down with this nut? Uh, yeah, okay, I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh man, did it die? It died. Um, but yeah, if you're going to Reddit and you're just going there, or you know, any internet forum, if you're going to like the WoW forums and your intent is fully to troll people, or just get in a fight and pick a fight. What are you doing with your life? There is someone on the other end of the internet. There always is. You don't know what people are going through. Why not? Just like they don't know what you're going through. Why not just do your best to be nice? And I will admit, I can be an asshole. I really can. In fact, there are times when I'm quite good at it. But I always just, I'm usually an asshole just to people who are already themselves being assholes. I don't do it to random people on the street. Okay, I gotta throw this at. Wow. Okay. Uh, anyway, I don't do it to random people on the street. I'm usually pretty pleasant and that's why I don't get why people feel the need to be an asshole and fight on the internet why what are you gonna accomplish you're gonna feel good about yourself at the expense of making somebody else miserable that's not a way to live and if you're an asshole to me 
I, I consider that free reign to be an asshole back, because clearly you know what you signed up for. And I'll be frank, there are very few things that give me more joy in life than being an asshole to someone who deserves it. Okay, I see what I'm doing. I'm do I was going the wrong way. Who deserves it. And believe me, there are people who deserve it. And usually, this is such a braggadocious thing to say, but usually the people who pick a fight with me don't really like how things turn out. I know I'm just trolling for comments on the internet like that, but they usually don't. I'm pretty good at just playing into whatever stereotype they want to throw at me. Oh no, these guys. And giving zero Fs. Alright. I hate these guys. They make you heavy, no matter how many you have on them. And uh, they hinder your ability to jump or move around. I'm going to open this chest. 10 rupees. Not worth it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, maybe not as... Maybe uh, not one or two. But once you get three or four of these things on you, you're not going to be able to jump very well. They weigh you down. All right. And now that we're in this room... I think we're going to call it an episode here, guys. We went a little bit long today, and I was a little bit rambly. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, leave me that thumbs up because I really appreciate those, and it does help the channel out. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more Wind Waker, subscribe because I'm going to keep uploading this every weekday. And if you have any hints, tips, tricks, and you, or you do have criticism, leave me a comment down below. As always, thanks again for coming out and joining me today, and I hope you guys have a great day. Later.